What's up guys? In today's video we're going to be looking at the benchmarks between the Xeon 2670 and the i7-3930K. Both are overclocked and I at least found the video of the Xeon benchmarks so we can at least do this. So this is good. I'm still bummed that I am lost the encoding part, but the encoding benchmark part, but it is what it is. I can't go get any of that footage back the way it was, so. Anyway, now we're going to move on to the part where I explain how the benchmarking works and the Xeon benchmarks. So, what I'm going to do for benchmarking this Xeon 2670 versus the i7-3930K is I'm just going to run all of the benchmarks on the Xeon here first and then just take screenshots because that way it'll be easier to compare the two together instead of literally doing each individual test, cutting the camera, like let's say after time spot is done, we go cut and be like, all right, this got this, now on to the next test, now on to the next test, and then that just gets a little repetitive. So it'd be easier to just take some screenshots. So I'm gonna let all these tests run, and then I'll grab some screenshots, and then we will see how it does. So it's all done with its benchmarks now. Figured real quick I would go over uh, all the temps and whatnot. Let's see. Here's all the max temperatures for all the cores. All right, obviously nothing in thermal throttle. Alright, that's how much power it used. Here's all our memory information. Yep, absolutely nothing there is anywhere close to the limit. Alright, there's the drives. And then last but not least, the GPU. Alright, <clears throat> now let's move on to the benchmark scores. Here's my mouse. So here's what it got in uh, Heaven, then Valley, There's Fire Strike, Fire Strike Extreme, here let's just maximize that, there we go, that's much easier to see. There's Ultra, Time Spy. Superposition. All right, here's Cinebench. Geekbench, GPU, CPU. And then the last is uh, User Benchmark. So all right, so that about does it for the Xeon. Now we just have to wait until we get the uh, i7. But luckily, you guys don't have to wait like I do because I'm just gonna edit in after I put that in. So we've got all the benchmarks completed. So here's what it got in heaven. Here's what it got in Valley. That's just a chicken dinner, so we'll ignore that. Um, <clears throat> here's Fire Strike. Fire Strike Extreme. 
Fire Strike Ultra, Time Spy, Superposition, Center Bench, Geek Bench, GPU Side, CPU Side. And then we finish it up with user benchmark. So we approved a tiny bit in areas. It's not a night and day difference. Wasn't expecting that, but it was a fun little upgrade. And I'm still not even done overclocking this i7 yet. Oh, and before we uh, sign off here, let's take a look at the thermals and all this other stuff, just like I did with the Xeon. There's definitely a lot of stuff here. So I'm just trying to scroll through it pretty quickly here. So if I go too fast, obviously you can just pause the video. All right. So that about does it for uh, this video. It was a pretty fun video. Uh, got a new case coming here pretty soon so I'll make a video when I get that and of course when I do more overclocking and whatnot but till the next video peace out guys